What's poppin' y'all? It's your man, Clockboy Bells. Um, anyways, um, you haven't noticed, um, there's a couple big releases that just came in. Um, of course, this is just an update. This doesn't really have anything to do with the Packers, but it's possible stuff that could happen. Anyways, um, Kyle Van Noy was released by the Dolphins earlier today. A bit of a surprising move. Um, he was signed to like a big contract. Like, and when I say big contract, like he was, it was a big contract. Let me just say that. Um, hey, big contract is a big contract. That's what's important. And losing that is losing a lot of money. So does that mean they're going for Deshaun Watson? Does that mean they're trying to de trade for him? Big possibility. Um, but the thing was, Van Noy was so good on the Patriots and the Dolphins picked him up. You know, I, I know he... Did he have the greatest season? I don't even remember because I really didn't follow the Dolphins this much. But it's just a very shocking move that they're going to give up on him this early. But if they're... It does, I don't know if that means they're going for Watson. I don't know. But it's a shocking move. Another interesting move that just happened now was the Vikings release Kyle Rudolph and I am very confused um, I don't know how that does anything I mean look at how I mean he's a very underrated tight end everyone knows that he was great with the Minnesota Vikings I guess they're moving on from him and thinking Irv Smith's the guy, or Conklin, who really did some good things for them, too. So, yeah, I get Rudolph's a lot older than he was, but it's a very shocking move. Um, Kyle Rudolph reminded me of Jason Witten a lot, obviously. A little bit, he can move a lot more, but it's a, it's a, it's it's an interesting signing. I know he's been with the Vikings like forever, so it's very shocking that they're letting him go. Um, but another team's going to have him and use him more. <laughs> I mean, yeah, they hardly used him last year. It was embarrassing. So, good signings. Good. I mean, these are good people that could be signed. Kyle Van Noy, I know is, I'm like, I never thought the Packers would get someone like that, but there's no way we're going to sign him, a guy with that money. And then for Rudolph, the Packers really don't need a tight end. Because I think they're going to re-sign Tanyan. Not sure. But if that's not the case, then I guess we should get him. But who knows. Um, but it's interesting of what's happening. Free agency is a buzz. And like it or not, we are very close. Um, also coming soon, my Bucks video on the first half of the season. So stay tuned. Stay safe. Be smart. And as always, go Pekka. We'll see you next time.